expecting the Bowser to yeah, come out, but not makes, even trying again. It makes plenty of sense. But we still have a lot of good options of his. We get lots of out-of-shield options that are heavy punishes. And once you're in, you can do a lot of damage. Yeah, make no mistake, Min Min still wins this matchup. It's just, like, not plus three. Wins it less. Yeah. <laughs> plus three in this game. I don't think there's any plus three. It's probably not any plus three, but it's as, like, it's as bad as it gets in a game like this. Yeah, there are 2.9s, I'll oh, say. you know. <laughs> like they hold your horses. <laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> that one, that happened. Out, take 60, Eagle out. <laughs> Are we going to see the runoff? No, we're just... Res nice. We're just going to respect all of these arms and play it slow. Like, make Obese Fart fight through you. And that's sometimes what Bowser can do really good because his out-of-shield game is so good. He just needs to keep in mind his shield health because that, uh, that Megawatt has been putting in work. Yes. Okay, there we go. Good Nair confirm, no up air, and explode. Town City is such a good pick for these platform pressures. Yeah. If, you're up, if you're up there and you're shielding, hey, free grab. Oh, and then calls out the shield as well. Obese Fart just getting a little bit hesitant. We saw it in the John set as well. Uh, Obese Fart tends to get hesitant in scrambles and usually likes to prefer to stay within his zone. And it within wasn't his even space. a scramble off stage and yeah, he still panicked. That's just kind of tough. <laughs> For, no, just choosing to play through the arms, so letting him do all of that, and then calling out the option afterwards. Is it going to be jump side B out of shield, or is it going to be the whirling fortress? Instead, it's an awkward trade. That could have been a back air trade instead. All right, he still all right, finds no the back trade air. here. Yeah, he's just beating it out. Okay, here we go back in the blunder. Whirling Fortress, man. It has been putting in so much work. And then the Flame Breath there as well. I mean, I appreciate it. I like my ramen minced up into small, in, uh, yeah. recognizable pieces. Yeah. Chopped ramen. Yeah. Oh, the high recovery. That's, That's still connected! <laughs> oh, no. I mean, you're willing to take the Ram Ram hit every day of the week as Bowser, the heaviest character. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's tough. No reaction from Dumpling King. <laughs> Happens. Is that three stock? No, no, no. no. no unless we don't want to count that SD SC. from Dumpling King. Right. I to dude, I just totally forgot. Actually, <laughs> yeah, then yes. You know what? Did Obese ever actually kill Dumpling King? No. No. All right, there just go. like Tweet. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there was a there was a weird tangent, but there was a stat I saw of like the last two majors that Tweet has won, he did so without taking the final stock. Yeah. It was, I mean, versus huh. Sonics. Yeah. Like, it was literally. Sonics XD twice on final stock. Yeah. It's like, damn. It, it's just all the EMG events. It has to be that way. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> Sonics needs to stop going to EMG events. You're, you're either trying to make big moves or you're trying to get on your level and uh, you just can't can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah. Stop and hitting that, the B button when you're stupid. Don't hit Sonic players. Homing attack. Off stage. Don't do it. Look, that, ne that next SD, though, is going to be Supernova. Yeah. True. Applications for that are right. Frustration for that sub, too. Ooh. Oh, the up throw into just forward air. Did he take his jump? No, it didn't take the jump. No. It's tough. It's a good cross up. Yeah. I like that a lot more from a beast fart when it comes to the ledge, though. Like, you need to change up how you've been playing the ledge because the basic options aren't going to do it. That footstool was crazy, but the air dodge less so. Quick neutral get up. A lot of things on immediate timing. Make obese fart apply the coverage. Make, yeah. make him do the strength. One, two, one, two. One, two. That's all you need to do. Just box him out. Mm -hmm. Don't oh, get close. Good to oh. play. Finding ledge with the Bowser Bomb as he tries to come down with this forward air yet again. It's just so hard to find a spot to move in. And then the wow. parry on the uh, rising forward air. Absolutely perfect up smash fodder. And Obese Fart taking the first lead of the set. So, oh man, DK tries to immediately take it back. Like, I know that Min Min wins this matchup, but I'm still here, like, on pins and needles, thinking that Obese Fart at any moment is going to explode. It's tough, right? Like, it, these are. Dumpling King plays characters that always will put you on edge because the on paper never matches the in practice. Yeah, he's very much playing against the people holding the controller rather yes. than the character. Yeah, he's all in on, like, I'm, I'm going to make you beat me. Don't beat my character, beat me. Where grappler players succeed the most. Yeah. Ooh, careful, missing the spacing and eating the uh, empowered dragon. 
battering back and forth. This four is big. Now oh, the no jump, jump is gone, but he's able to recover. Good drift on the part of Ubi's far just to go off stage and go beneath the stage. Then the megawatt nair seals out the stock 160. Makes plenty of sense, but being down a full stock here, he needs to explode real quick. Yes, Swiss. Yeah, but this is exactly what he needs. Up one Ooh. stock. Finally, for the second time, this set. Yep. In the lead, but for how much longer? Yo, he was kind of cooking with that tech chase jab one to try and reset. I kind of dug it. He's looking for the falling nair setup, though, and any sort of landing aerial they're going to get counterplayed oh, by Min Min, and it. now you're off stage. Oh, getting... I don't think he's making it back. He is not making it back. Not with got to go next. <laughs> yeah, so not Me? FD, right? We're not going back to FD. Luckily, you have counter pick advantage. So FD, you left it open for whatever reason that you felt like it was the third worst stage as opposed to the first or second worst stage. Oh, God, that's just a massacre right there. Yeah. Stop, it's, he's it's, already dead. That's about what Min Min does. Empowered Dragon doesn't even need to aim it. It auto-aims. Okay, excuse me, that's Trogdor. Trogdor? Trogdor! Oh, yeah, that's the Burninator. Come on. My bad. Yeah. All right, but are you we don't going need back to, to aim Trogdor. City? He just aims. He just goes. No, small battlefields. You still get some platforms, but you got a much smaller stage, so this is good for both players. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Like, this is the type of stage you want because of the, it's more close quarters. You have places that you can land high, and it has ledges, and that's like, ooh, that's what Dumpling King wings on. It's like I'm betting, he's betting his entire life savings on winning the ledge game. Oh no! Come on, Dumpling King, stop gambling on your wins. Oh, no jump. Okay, all right. But this was a good bet. Small battlefield so yeah. far, working I mean, in his favor. Thus far, he uh, he's keeping his life savings. Good. good, good w. <laughs> <laughs> you can afford five guys now after. <laughs> Yo, let's go. <laughs> Got the falling uh, megawatt in air. It's crazy, just like how how much Bowser's edge uh, ledge trapping can change just by him taking like a half step back. It's like, oh, now I'm not in ledge trap double jump nair range. You have to commit to the arms. But if you commit to the arms, then I could just like full hop forward air you. Like, yeah, this is where we kind of start seeing some grabs. I don't think Obispar yeah. has actually gotten a grab at all this brackets. He's just not grabbing it. That's crazy. Oh, he made it. And the get up attack was so well timed. Playing through the instant timing, looking for the back air afterwards. That might have been able to be up smashed, given how negative the min min down air is, but. Yeah, I don't think Double King knows his frame data like that. Yeah. He's more of a vibes-based player. You know, I respect it, right? Like, even still, like, you're just taking the guarantee. <laughs> Ooh, he tried to get tricky, but Dumpling King with the reaction up three stocks to one now. All right, now this is going to be your three stock you wanted. I mean, you said it, not me. Oh, I believe. He I believe in Dumpling King supremacy. Heaviest character in the game, like, 120 is not kill percent. But with Megawatt fully charged, maybe. Maybe. It, yeah, I'm, okay, I'm starting to see why he didn't grab. Keeps missing. It's so, so punishable. And then the spot dodge getting caught out as well. Keeping track of all of those defensive options. Tries for the falling fair, and then commits to the fullest, highest reach of that forward air. And it comes down and finishes off the game. Dumpling King with the three stock in tow. It's his turn to play against John Numbers today. Man, I think Dumpling King is, this is big for him. Because the yeah, last so time he played against John, it was, it wasn't even close after the first game. Yeah. No, which really, you know, it was very close that first game. And I'm like, oh my God, like he has an opportunity to take this and reset the bracket. He didn't get the resets, which was so frustrating because he was playing so, it was the best I've ever seen him play in a bracket. And right now, I think he's on that same streak. Devin, is there a way where you can take the first part of this of one replay and then the first part of another replay and like show them side by side? <gasps> New technology no, in the world. I mean, I guess I could set that up. Okay, well, yeah. don't worry about it. I just want to like, in all of these clips, right? We're constantly seeing Dumpling King play at like so many different ranges. Like this spacing right here, mm -hmm. so different from if he's like, I'll use different colors. If he's here versus if he's here versus if he's here. Right. Completely different game plan. Mm -hmm. You're also threatening similar options, but he becomes like a different list of priorities of, oh, at purple, I'm thinking jump forward air. Mm -hmm. At yellow, I'm thinking uh, the uh, whirling fortress as like not the number one. And right. at orange, I'm thinking 
uh, something like jump side beat. Yeah, or even an up smash if yeah. he's going to land or, on Or ledge. something like an up smash, yeah. yeah, exactly. So then your list of priorities changes, and because your mental stack is constantly shifting based off of if Bowser just takes like a step forward or a step backwards or mm -hmm. short hop forward or short hop backwards, you're constantly overwhelmed mm -hmm. on top of the fact 